I got these beautiful ducks at the thrift store. I got them in two different trips. I found one first and then uh, two on the other trip. And what I'm doing right now is just removing the price tags and giving these a really good wash. I'm applying a clear coat of matte protector. This brand is by Rustoleum, and this really helps for the paint to stick to the duck. I'm getting ready to paint these ducks. I want them all white, but I'm going to use some of my chalk paint, and I'm going to mix that with some uh, baking soda and that gives it a really nice like a plaster texture and the more a uh, soda you use the thicker it will be and then you can um, apply it that way i'm not going to go too thick i just want a nice plaster feel now that i'm happy with my mixture i'm going to go ahead and give three coats of paint to each ducts allowing to dry in between I have resprayed these ducks with the matte finish clear protector by Rustoleum and gave it two good coats so that I can have a really good protection. And now I'm using this buffalo plaid um, cotton fabric that I have on hand and I'm simply going to cut three triangle to make little scarves um, for my little ducks. Now I'm simply going to roll the end a little bit and put the scarf on my ducks.
And here is the final result. I think these are so sweet, a cute little duck family. And this is really perfect for a nice farmhouse decor. This carrot I got at the thrift store as well, and I'm simply going to remove these tags and get started. I'm painting this carrot with white paint. This is not chalk paint, it's just regular paint, and I'm going to paint the front and the back of this piece. Now that my piece is dried, I'm using some Mud Podge. This is a matte finish. Um, that's what I use all the time, but if you didn't have the matte, that would work fine as well. I'm simply using a leftover piece of fabric that I have on hand and I'm using a buffalo plaid for my projects in this video. So I'm going to make sure that I'm covering all my carrot properly and just rub the fabric to make sure that it adheres um, to the Mod Podge. Now I'm using a blow dryer just to speed up the drying process of the Mud Podge underneath this fabric and that way I can continue on with this project without waiting too long. Using a pair of scissors, I'm simply going to cut all around the carrot to get rid of the extra fabric and I cut in, in a straight line when I get to the top part. Now I want to fray the edge of this fabric a little bit.
I'm using some greenery that I have on hand and they actually look like you know the carrot leaves that's on the carrot and first I was going to take them apart like so and apply them one by one but then I realized that they go better as a bunch and it's a lot less work so I changed my mind and I'm going to cut uh, them in pieces but by bunches. Now I'm simply going to hot glue these in place. Now I'm using some twine rope to go around the top of my carrot and leaving long enough string to tie a bow up front. I have some beads on hand that are already painted white so I'm going to use two of these and put one on each uh, one of these string and tie a knot at the bottom to hold it in place. I'm using this metal plaque. Uh, this comes off of a bunny that I got at the dollar store. Uh, I did a project with the bunny, but I did not want to use this piece. So today I think it's a perfect addition to this carrot. So I'm going to go ahead and just put that in place. And here is the final result. This was a really easy and fun piece to create and it makes the perfect addition to a Easter decor.
I got this sign at Walmart at really high discount. This is not a thrift piece, but when I do get something at really high discount, it almost feels like it's been thrifted. So what I'm doing with this in taking some white paint and painting the middle square where it says hello fall and I'm going to cover that all up with three coats of paint. Now that my piece is nice and dry, I'm using this package of faux leather um, material pieces that I got at the dollar store and I'm using the black color. I want to cut a piece of this of about two inches wide so I'm going to go ahead and cut this with my scissors. And now I want to create myself a little, um, like a pocket, um, I think is the word I'm going to use, uh, to put a flower stem in there. So I'm simply going to put the two ends together and hot glue it in place. Now my little pocket is created and I want to hot glue one of these ends. Now I'm going to hot glue this little pocket to my frame, but I'm not going to hot glue right to the top. I'm going to leave about an inch uh, so that I can do the next step. Now I'm going to hot glue some twine rope to the top of this little pocket leaving long strings on each end to um, create a knot up front. Now I'm making sure that I'm not tightening this too tight and that I can put my finger inside there to make sure that I can actually enter some stem. And finishing hot gluing the top piece of this pocket to the frame. Again, I'm going to use two of my beads to attach to the end of the string with a knot. I have this beautiful greenery on hand and I'm simply cutting a branch out of it and putting that inside my little pocket to finish this project.
And here is the final result. This was then again a very easy project but the result is so so cute and this is a year around piece rather than just for fall well that's it for this video folks i hope you really enjoyed these simple projects i love using thrift store items and give them a brand new life if you like this video, please give me the big thumbs up. I want to hear your comments down below as usual. And if you haven't had a chance to subscribe to my channel and you like what you see, well, today is a perfect day to hit that subscribe button. Until next time, folks, you have yourself a wonderful day.